Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rambling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because I can. Uh, I believe it was the time to end the turn. I'll just quickly check. I'll return a, uh, train another unit here, so maybe I can finally use this general to further my conquest rather than stay in the city. Mm. Orders. Kill them. Destroy. Uh, yeah, so I believe it's the end turn time. Who declared war? Uh, three people. That's actually sort of complicated because the three peoples seem to. You really hell bent on making my day worse, but on the other hand, I will also need to defeat the Dunlandings at some point, so maybe they should uh, be, you know, taken down the peg first. Mm. Those will just wait here until I deal with the goblins. Yeah, and orders, orders. I will quickly destroy this army. I'll try after resolving for once. We'll see what will I get. As you can see, that's really pretty huge losses for this particular. Yeah, that's, it, it clearly wasn't worth it, but oh well. That's what I meant when saying that it's rather a bad idea to, to auto-resolve, especially on the higher difficulties. Because it's just not worth it. Whoops. I didn't see that. That is an interesting situation. Hmm. Well, it seems that um, I may actually lose that, which is quite bad because my Reinforcements are rather small and they will not be enough to immediately retake this. Well, we'll see how it goes. And yeah, uh, if you have any questions regarding the lore of, of Lord of the Rings or, uh, or the, to, the, to the lesser extent also the lore of um, the Silmarillion or the Hobbit, uh, then you can a ask them in the comments and I will re reply either by text or by addressing you in the next episode because um, I, s I think I will re release those episodes um, once a day so uh, I record them in advance for now because my Apple speed is so horrible that uh, I want to sort of Mm, build a, mm, a number of backup episodes and then upload them and then set them to you know to be released mm, each day so that I will have time to mm, to upload the new ones with my uh, internet made of bamboo which is pretty much what it is. Mm. I will save the. Uh, I will save the berserkers for the final sort of mm, confrontation with with the Mordor. For although, do they have anything that can punch through my? Yeah, they do. Mm, that is a little. 
complicated because I need to I need to defend myself basically on two fronts simultaneously. Mm. I might actually resolve to employing this mm, shooting the shooting the siege tower trick I told you about at some point. But for now I have to get myself organized on this side. They have one, and they also have a catapult, which means they will probably punch um, a hole in this wall here, or maybe here. So I need to... Um, and these I will leave in reserve for the final sort of push, if the situation becomes uh, desperate. I'll use the catapult and I'll try to um, target uh, the golden scales. Either them or the chariots. Mm, the tower is heading in a strange place that I wasn't expecting. I need to move this to to intercept. Tower. Our things on the other side. For some reason, ha! Ah, the the AI is sort of weirdly weirdly conditioned that if they have a catapult, they just um, try to punch holes through the walls rather than use the ladders and the ramps simultaneously. I'm not sure why why that is, but. Since my catapult is having a worse day, because because it doesn't seem to be hitting anyone. I need to move to to intercept the the, the siege tower. Anyone? Yes, they did. Walls to the walls. The enemy has begun are the not siege. As big as I like. What are they, they doing? It's rather strange. Okay, I will probably retreat this unit to the other side to deal with the troops that will pour out of the siege tower. At last, the enemy general has been slain. Fight on, my brothers. March. Mm. The, the ladders seem to be broken again, or maybe they are just waiting for something. Although I'm not sure what that is. To the breach, dwarves! The walls have been torn asunder. Mm. Yeah, this is a, this is a perfect opportunity for using the berserkers because the enemy will be very sort of clamped together, and there. Mm, and their um, splash attack will be um, the most useful this way. So, it's actually also a good opportunity to 
give you a look into some of the more of the unit, units, but we will just set the pieces on the field first. I'm not sure for what the Easterlings are waiting. But, well, I'm not that I am complaining because I have trouble enough over here. It's rather difficult to see anything actually, so maybe it isn't the best moment to show you the troops of Mordor. Here is some crappy lower tier unit. Although the banners with the, uh, with the severed heads are quite a nice touch. Actually, I probably shouldn't have. I will recall them because it seems I am managing quite well here, as opposed to the other side. I'm not sure what's happening over here, though. I will try to take down a couple of chariots before my ammo runs out because they will be dangerous. Due to their ability to to push your soldier soldiers aside, yeah, I'm not sure what is the plan of of the Easterlings. Units march. But I'll first, uh, if they want it so, then I'll firstly. Do uh, deal with Mordor and then turn my surviving units to the task of facing the Easterlings. As you can see, it doesn't look that well. And for, I'm even considering recalling some of the units from here. To the, to the other side. I somehow thought it would be a little easier to deal with the uh, mortal forces. As you can see, I um, only killed 13% of them. Though that would probably be quite a lot in purely, uh, purely numerical terms, because obviously they have a huge advantage in numbers. I should have... I will attack from the other side, because there is an opening there, and it will allow me to be... If only they didn't do this strange dance, Broken pathfinding. Yeah, attacking from this flank will attack will allow me to be mm, more useful because there is an opening here and in this way the, the mm, motor forces are basically mm, covered from each side so that they can attack me in the flank. Mm. The Easterlings seem to be broken for some reason, so I just concentrate on this front and if I manage to win and survive then I will turn the survivors to the task of facing the Easterlings. I will also take this unit or maybe this unit and mm, maybe both of those, to assist um, near the siege tower because it seems that uh, I am starting to lose. I am slowly thinning out the uh, forces of the model, although there are still quite a lot left. Mm. 
Yeah, I will try to basically to sandwich them. That should, uh, you know, help me survive. What happened to the music actually? Nah, I didn't disable it, it just stopped working for some reason. It's sort of 50-50 for me, for now, at least I, that's how I feel about it. Sadly, because they have plenty of units left, and most of my forces are already depleted by the mortal attack, so I will need to turtle a little and assemble a really la large, a larger, more elite force with like the dragon slayers and whatever, um, and then resume the, the, con the conquest. Fortunately, the Mm, I am doing grievous mm. tidings. Our Lord is perished in the I battle. I am doing Those a little better must fight on, alone. Uh, on, on the, the other front, front currently. I am heading uh, south um, in, in the, the Misty mountains, mountains to reconquer the lost settlements there. there. So we'll see about that. But, but yeah, yeah, I, I don't, don't think, think I can win this battle, battle honestly. Forward. But I'll at least manage to destroy the Mordor army, which will only leave um, the Eastern one, and even then it will be, um, you know, maybe not decimated, but uh, clearly a little, um, a little weakened. The forces of Mordor are starting to break, which is. Very good news. But I hardly have anything left here, so not it will not be enough to to deal with the remaining Easterlings. Units forward. I always like this sight of, of carnage after the battle when different troops are lying on the ground, especially when, have, when they have a distinct armor such as, uh, well, you know, distinct uh, color schemes such as the Easterlings, they stand out and sometimes you can see uh, a fallen banner, it is like really atmospheric and uh, immersive for me, or maybe I'm just weird and, and caring about weird stuff. It might very well be so. Yeah, I, I doubt I doubt I can deal with all of this with what I have left. I didn't even properly deal with Mordor yet. And honestly, I am not sure if I will because even though I've cut through a lot of them, there's still a lot left, and I am running out of soldiers. So, I'm not sure about that. Units, move out! I defeated them here, the Easterlings are still broken, so I will just recall those troops to help me deal with Mordor. 
because I doubt the I, I want to eliminate at least one army if I can't uh, eliminate them both which I believe I can sadly Yeah, I'll probably lose the city. Hmm. Well, it happens. I will try to exit the gate and attack them from the rear. This way. I will be able to stop them from, from fleeing. Although, not quite, because as you can see, they moved in to, to intercept me. So maybe that, that wasn't the, the wisest move. need to basically walk out of the city and to make a suicide, suicidal tra charge and just take as many settlements with me um, as I can before my forces um, are depleted. But first let me deal with Mordor. I'm not sure why the music has stopped working. I can't... I don't know what I can do about it because it seems to be enabled in the options. Yeah, as you can see, there is hardly anything left from from the units over here. It will be... Actually, I'm not even sure if that will be enough to... to kill the remaining um, mortal units, let alone the Easterlings. So... Although maybe it's sort of in the air for now. They seem to be retreating, so well, I don't know. Maybe they had just have weird ideas. try to encircle this last unit to ensure that I that I manage to win with what little I have left and then it will just be the, mm, the suicidal charge against mm, against the Easterlings on the sort of other front So that is all I can do really. Go out and kill as many as I can before my dwarves are overwhelmed. I'm not sure if that will actually be enough to finish Mother. Although maybe because they are really, really experienced and they seem to be cutting. Uh, through them just fine. And 
taking really heavy casualties from a missile fire. So I doubt they will accomplish much. At least I managed to... Although, I'm not, still not sure if I will actually finish this unit of mortar. <laughs> What's this axe thrower doing over here? Okay, the catapult crew... <laughs> what is this? The enemy army in flight? Drive them to ruin with axe and sword. Yeah, so I did manage to to destroy the mortar army, but now I need to basically go and die in the fight against uh, against the Easterlings. Once again, I've been foiled by my own mm, sort of rush impulses because I really don't like turtling. I don't like to wait for a couple of turns uh, to gather an enormous powerful army and then just steamroll the computer. Um, rather, I enjoy, you know, rushing and um, sort of a blitzkrieg tactic. But. Uh, it is not always um, the best choice, obviously. So, well, I just I just leave the battle because I have so little left that it will not make a difference. And dwarven warriors, take heart. We have taken great loss this day, but the day shall come again when we shall rise with axe and shield. Yeah, that was still a nice battle, although I am quite saddened by the fact that um, now I have to wait to gather another army, and my conquest is once again, um, you know, stopped. Yeah, I will accept that. Where is he? In Erebor, okay. So he will be able to... You will be able to leave the, lead the uh, reinforcements. Mm. Yeah, I will. Mm, I will assemble my next army in this city, but that will probably take a while because. This time I want to create a really more more elite force. Move out, urging armies. Make sure. Forward, no more moves. Yes. Forward, no more moves. Yes. Maybe I'll be able to conquer the next goblin town, or maybe this village, which will offer me sort of. Another place to, to hold as a defensive position. Mm. Okay, okay, so, so that's, that's all for this turn. turn. Uh, no, it's rather, rather a crappy uh, general, so... Oh, actually, <laughs> it seems... Uh, that this general somehow plundered uh, Thorin's to tomb and stole his sword. I don't think that's particularly nice, but still, uh, it's a nice bonus. Uh, yeah, I have finished the larger barracks here. Which means I can hire hireling archers 
which are a really good asset for uh, defending settlements. Mm. And we we'll also keep sending uh, reinforcements to Thorin so that he can continue his um, his journey um, south to confront the goblins. I am also able to raise taxes over here, which will give me another um, boost to, to my income. Which means I can trade more troops. I will trade uh, an axe thrower here. And I think um, I will finish the turn, and I think that will be... Hmm. Not that bad. Actually, that's pretty... They don't even have archers, which are probably the most annoying uh, goblin unit. Yeah, but I will do that uh, in the next episode. See you, bye.